Okay, the drill we're going to do today is called Swing Time, and it's a drill designed to help newer students uh, develop a sense of timing and learn and practice when they can start their swing relative to their horse's speed rather than just approaching the ball and hitting the ball right on top of it and ended up topping it or shanking it. So what we'll need is a ball and four cones placed about a foot and a half apart. And we're going to have Liz approach the ball at a walk, a trot, a canter, and a gallop. And the cones are going to indicate at what speed she's going to start her swing. So we're going to have her start at the walk. with her mallet up in the ready position and the first cone is going to give her an indication as to when to start her swing. Good job. Now she's going to circle to the right. She's going to pick up a trot. Now the second cone is going to give her an indication where to start her swing. Very nice. Now she's going to continue going to the right and she's going to pick up a canner on the right lead. She'll look for the third cone and that's where she'll start her swing. Now she's going to pick up the pace to a gallop. She's going to give herself plenty of room to approach the ball. And the last cone is going to tell her where to start her swing. Good job. All right, now we're going to reverse direction and we're going to do this same exact drill but on the near side. Kind of start her swing at the first cone. Good job. All right, she's going to pick up the trot. Look for the second cone to start. Good job. Now she's going to pick up the canner on the left lead. Good flying lead change. <laughs> Look for the third cone to start your swing. Good job. And now a little bit more advanced. She's going to pick up a gallop. and then start her swing at the fourth cone. Good job. All right, well done. That's the drill and some key points to remember are um, making sure your horse is on the correct lead. You want to be on the left lead when you're doing the near side drill and the right lead when you're doing the off side drill. And also you want to make sure you lead throughout your swing. You don't want to slow down as you approach the ball because that can throw off your timing as well. But with practice and uh, consistency, you'll develop a good sense of timing when you're out in the field playing. So, good job.